drones are the new watchtowers. It's a big challenge for all the border guarding forces. I'm joined by DG uh, BSF. Sir, you were saying that drone surveillance is a big issue for uh, the border guarding forces. Can you explain a little bit? Uh, drones are in, indeed a challenge. I mean, we are a border guarding force who are um, right from the day of inception. We were more adept and more accustomed to stopping people who came on ground. Now, with this new kind of a threat which is coming across the sky and dropping in weapons as well as drugs, well, it's a new challenge. Uh, we have uh, installed a number of different anti-drone systems also, and but a foolproof drone system covering the entire western border we do not have as of now. It costs money and it involves numbers. Mm -hmm. But I think in the times to come, and we are working with a number of Indian companies which are giving us different kind of systems, I think we'll be able to deploy more and more anti-drone systems on areas which are more sensitive. Uh, we have also deployed uh, depth patrolling uh, with the help of different states by employing state police and the BSF doing depth patrolling to prevent any kind of collection of mm. these drugs as well as weapons. Mm. And uh, we have given very good incentives to our people to bring down these drones and they have already brought down 16 drones this year when the entire year in the year 2021 we have brought down only one drone. Uh, you were also talking about certain kind of a chip, you know, you were saying that the, all these drones have a chip and the kind of drones that you shoot down, are these Chinese made or are these Pakistani made? Uh, a lot of them are, have been fabricated, so they do not have any marks. Some of them do have uh, company marks, uh, what company they belong to, but the, ultimately these are available in the market. Mm -hmm. So anybody can purchase these uh, from the market and send these uh, uh, unwanted things like weapons or drugs. Uh, from his side to, to our side, which we try to counter at any point of time. And what about these chips you were talking about? Are, are these uh, inbuilt? You see, uh, drones are after all uh, digital uh, hmm. pieces of uh, architecture, so they do have chips. Hmm. So if we are not able to damage the chip when they come down to the ground or when they are hit by the bullet, I think we can analyze these chips and get a volume of information from them regarding their flight path, where did it come from, where did it go, where did it drop, where did it stop. I think if we can get to that, I think it will be very helpful to us in tracking the crime and the criminal. So which state uh, is is creating a big issue as far as these drones are concerned? You know, Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir, we know. Any other states that uh, uh, drones have been cited? Uh, well, they have been cited off and on in different states. They have been cited uh, very, very few times in uh, Rajasthan also, in uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir also. But right now, uh, it's mainly in the Jammu area and the Punjab area. And sir, uh, one more question about this foreign terrorists. You know, or army always says that there has been a zero infiltration this year. They always, you know, give the blame that it, the people who are sneaking in, they are sneaking in from the Jammu sector. So what do you have to say on that? Because number of foreign terrorists operating in Valley have gone double this year. I mean, this question can be best answered by the people from JNK police who are arresting these terrorists and from the interrogation office. Mm -hmm.